welcome back to the channel guys. Today I thought we'd do a little drift build on the 2000 BMW 323Ti. Um, I've obviously already done the drift build, this thing is an absolute little beast. Need to get a few more pra practice runs in it really, just to get the angle right. But overall this thing is amazing to drift. Um, it's probably nearly as good as the Subaru i just done in the last video, go check that out. But this thing, I just, the paint job on it. I'll link the bloke down below, obviously I'll put a picture up in a second with his name as well. Go check it out because this thing, I love the rust bucket style, US Army sticker, danger, big wide open, open mouth going around the front bumper, but um, this seems quite a popular car in the drift world. Look at that interior, it looks too clean to be a drift car, I wish we could strip that out. But anyway, let's get on into this, and if we go into the tuning and upgrades here, I'll just show you what I've slapped on. So for a start, you want to go over to the conversion and you want to put the aspiration version. I've gone for the single turbo, I did try the twin turbo but I just just too much power and just kept spinning out so I've gone for the single turbo on this and if we head on over I've obviously put, put the big wing on the back I like the wing you don't have to have the wing but I like the wing it just, just makes it anyway right so as for tyres I've gone for the street tyre compound, I did try the stock, it just seemed to slide everywhere with the stock. So, with the street street tyre compound, I found that was just enough grip to keep it going around the corners. As for tyre width on the front, I've kept it stock. On the rears, we've gone for the 255 35R18s. Both front and rear are running the 18s, I've obviously enlarged the size. I've gone for 18s rather than the standard 16s. Then if we head on over to drivetrain, the drivetrain I have maxed everyone out in this. So obviously copy this if you wish. Same again for the platform and handling guys. I've upgraded every single bit of it, made it as light as possible. Then as we come into the engine, everything in here is upgraded to the max bar the turbo. The single turbo setup, I've gone for the sport turbo. The race turbo was just a bit too much, I found. I mean, obviously, if you want to copy my settings and then put the race turbo on and have a tweak in, in the tune-up. But, right, let's get into the tune-up over here. Now, at the moment, on the front, I've got a 38.5 PSI. On the rears, we've got the 26.5. I've got to try and get a little bit more grip on the rear. Gearing, uh, did I keep it stock? No, I did, I did slide it over to the speed a little bit. There just seemed to be a bit too much tyre spin when I had it over more to the acceleration. Uh, alignment, we've gone for a 1.2 negative camber on the front, zero on the rear. The toe, we've got a 0.2 on the front, 0.3 on the rear. Angle, we've gone for seven, so it's at five. Anti roll bars, I think I left pretty much stock. Springs, I've softened the front up a little bit. The rear's a bit stiffer. Road height, I've just got to drop it down low. Damp, then I didn't really touch this, I don't believe, but if I have, here are the settings. And then we come over to the brakes. I've put it at 60% to the front, and we've put a braking pressure of 90%. Then we head on over to the diff, I've put it at 95% for the acceleration and 20% for the de acceleration. Um, that, that's it, guys. I mean, copy it. Here's the video. I hope you enjoy. And please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button.